Hi, this is Josh with Bedbug Supply, here with a few household items that are often recommended for killing bedbugs. It's perfectly natural to want to eliminate a bedbug infestation without spending a ton of money on professional grade products or a treatment by a pest control operator. When people discover that they have bedbugs, they often turn to do it yourself recommendations from discussions on the internet. These suggestions might include one or several of the items featured here, among other things. Let's take a closer look at each item and how they might be used against bedbugs. First up is the most commonly recommended tool by far, rubbing alcohol diluted in water. This is suggested because alcohol can kill bedbugs on contact and evaporates shortly after, so it's considered safe for use pretty much anywhere in a home. While alcohol can kill bedbugs on contact, it's not going to kill nearly enough of bedbugs to be considered effective. In lab studies, even 99% concentrations of alcohol only killed between 40 to 60% of the adults that were sprayed. On top of that, alcohol has no long-lasting residual effect and doesn't affect bedbug eggs. In a bedbug treatment, alcohol is basically an attempt to fill the role of a contact spray, which is an insecticide spray that kills bedbugs on contact. These sprays can be found at our store for around $15 per bottle and are proven to kill at a higher rate than rubbing alcohol could manage. Pair contact sprays with a couple of residual sprays, and you have a combination of chemicals that will kill bedbugs quickly now and keep killing over the next few weeks. The next recommendation is a mixture of essential oils. You might see one of many oils or combinations of oils in online discussion, whether it's clove oil, cedar wood, lavender, or a combination of mint oils. The use of these against bedbugs dates back centuries and is encouraged by lab testing that shows these oils successfully killing bedbugs. However, those tests tend to use bedbugs that do not have the opportunity to feed on anyone. In real world scenarios, where the bedbugs can still reach a person and feed after being sprayed, they usually survive. The main reason people seem to favor the essential oil option is that it's considered a natural and chemical free alternative to pesticide sprays. What they don't realize is that today's home pesticides are carefully regulated by the EPA to make sure that they're safe for indoor use. The EPA also requires that health and safety guidelines are included in the product label and MSDS to ensure that anyone who uses a spray has instructions on how to use it safely and effectively. When used correctly, even our strongest bed bug sprays won't have any effect on you, but they will kill bed bugs more effectively than any mixture of herbs or oils. Another common suggestion is to use either double-sided tape or Vaseline. The theory is that you can stop bedbugs from climbing the legs of your bed by applying these to the legs. Unfortunately, report after report from customers has indicated these solutions simply don't work. I hear all the time about bedbugs crawling right over Vaseline, carpet tape, and other adhesive traps like glue boards. If a trap method does not effectively stop bedbugs, then I wouldn't consider it. Instead, I would recommend a set of climb-up insect interceptors. These are pitfall traps that go under the legs of your bed and trap bed bugs in a talcum-lined pitfall that's too slick and smooth for them to climb out of. Climb-up interceptors have been proven over the years to be effective and are an essential part of our recommended treatment process. The last items in our do-it-yourself bed bug arsenal are clothes iron and a blow dryer. These are recommended because bed bugs are susceptible to heat, so exposing them to a certain amount of direct heat will kill them. Now this is true, bed bugs will die immediately when exposed to at least 180 degrees of heat. However, these items are not the right tools for the job. Clothes irons might reach the temperature needed to kill bed bugs, but the heat won't penetrate deep into soft materials to where bed bugs might be hiding. You also can't iron areas besides clothes and sheets, like cracks and crevices and walls, floors, and furniture. A hair dryer might seem like a safer way to kill bed bugs but their maximum temperature is rarely more than 150 degrees. That heat level can kill bed bugs, but only if you maintain the heat over them for several minutes. So unless you want to follow each bed bug you see around with a hair dryer until they eventually die, you'd probably be better off just hitting them with a the thing. Just to be clear, you can kill bed bugs with heat. It's just a matter of using the right equipment. A high pressure steamer is the weapon of choice for killing bed bugs on contact since their steam can surpass 200 degrees and can penetrate deep into soft materials like mattresses and upholstered furniture. You can also use a steamer on more than just clothes or other fabrics. A steamer can kill bed bugs hiding along baseboards, floorboards, window sills, door frames, and the edges of the carpet. If you need to treat items that can't be laundered or steamed, you can use a portable bed bug heater like a Zapbug or Thermal Strike. 
These heaters can safely treat items like books, papers, CDs, and dry clean only clothing. Not only are bedbug heaters an effective part of a bedbug treatment process, but they're one of the most popular prevention tools on the market. When you come home from a trip, just put your suitcase in the heater, zip it shut, and turn it on. In just a few hours, any bed bugs or eggs hiding in your belongings will be dead. Basically, a lot of do-it-yourself bed bug recommendations are from people looking for a cheap and chemical-free way to solve the problem. And unfortunately, these recommendations don't always pan out. Bloggers and forum posters usually aren't professionals. They haven't done the research, and they tend to not have much experience getting rid of bed bugs themselves. When professionals need to treat an infestation, they don't reach for rubbing alcohol or cedar oil or a blow dryer. They use a proven treatment process with a combination of proven products to get the job done. If you have any questions about these items or about treating bed bugs yourself, visit us at bedbugsupply.com, open up a live chat there, or call us toll free at 866 238 9868. Again, this is Josh with bedbugsupply.com.